man, I'll tell you, there are just a lot of fish out here today. And, and it's neat when you it's, it's neat when you just land on a bunch of fish like this. But one of the things that I think gets a little bit deceiving is, is what is a fish all the time? And, and there's so much technology built into this Helix 9 now that I can look at it in down imaging. I can look at it in side imaging. I've got this great, bright, clear view. I see everything I want to see. But fish don't always show up as an arc. I know a lot of these are fish on the bottom and they're just a straight line. But, but Jeff, I've never totally understood what is the technical reason that fish show up as an arc one minute and then the next minute some of them are showing up in just that straight line. You know, John, there's some physics behind there. Without getting really too deep, what I would tell you is when a fish is out from your sonar beam, the beam comes down and it comes down as an arc like this. And the outer edge starts to touch that fish. It's a little farther away. And as you get over the fish, as you're driving over it, and very slowly I'll add, it allows the sonar to paint really good detail over that fish. So as you come over it, the fish is right underneath you and you come over it back this way, there's a little bit more of an angle to that beam and it paints the downside of the arc, right? But here's the deal. I don't really care if it's a perfectly formed arc or not. All I know is, look, you got a surface of the water and a transducer that's putting out sound down there. Now the sound bounces off typically the bottom and it registers, comes back. We know time and intensity of that return. So some people who actually paid attention in math where I was out fishing can write really <laughs> smart algorithms, math, you know, rules that say, when that sonar beam comes back, I know how long it took. Therefore, it must be 22 feet deep. And it really is 22 feet. But what happens is sometimes that beam doesn't come back in that amount of time. It bounces off of something else. So the really smart people write that algorithm and says, hey, it's only 10 feet down, I got a return. And each time that sonar comes back, it paints a pixel on your screen. Eventually it paints a blob sometimes. But look, whether it's a perfectly painted arc or a blob, I know that if it's between the surface and the bottom, it's probably a fish. Sure. Now it may be a perch, a wally, a smallmouth, a redfish, a snook, who knows what it is. As an angler, I'm just trying to find fish. So I know if I see something between the surface and the bottom, it probably is a fish when it's suspended like that. Perfect arc or not, doesn't matter. Sure. I'll fish blobs and I catch a lot of blobs on that sonar. <laughs> well, and the other thing to keep in mind too is when those fish are on the bottom, this is one of the great things about these Helix units. It's actually gonna paint that fish on the bottom in a different color. I then can go to my down imaging too. So even if it is that straight line, you're still gonna be, be able to decipher if it's a fish, whether he's up, whether he's down, whether it's an arc, whether it's a straight line. All of a sudden done, you're gonna be able to see it on these Helix units. And, and I'll tell you what, I've never seen anything that's more clear and bright than this unit. And it, it shows me everything. Take a look at these things because I'll tell you what, this is, this is the real deal. This thing shows me fish, and if you can see fish, I'll, I'll guarantee you, you can catch them.